challenge down at turn one. Watch the inside front, the left front tyre there, locking up, and he goes straight across the runoff area. Now, this wall they've set up is new, and the drivers are having to navigate their way first left and then do a bit of a U-turn. And that's quite a challenge to do on the wet grass. And actually, you, I think that's a bit sketchy, really, on the rejoin. You have to be very careful. Max Verstappen was fastest this morning and didn't have any such issues here. The Red Bull working well. He's able to generate temperature and heat in the tyres. And that's hugely important. In the first sector of the lap, watch as he's come through turns one and two. Now, when he turns into turn three, that temperature he's got allows him to have the grip to turn in, the front responds, it gets onto that inside curve, and that just opens up the line for the second part. I'll go back here because you can see the confidence Max has got. He's not just on the curb, he's beyond the curb on that bit there. So, uh, yeah, a lot of confidence, Red Bull. Now, this part here into seven and eight is very tricky because you've got a bridge above the track there, and that creates a dry patch just over there and a bit of water. So the drivers have got changing conditions in that single braking zone, and that makes the judgment for braking extremely tricky. Now, watch this line here Max takes. Gets onto that orange curb. They don't use that in the drive, but he's clearly decided he's got grip on that curb, and it just opens up the radius and gives him a good run down to the hairpin. And you've done all the hard work, and you're coming up to the final chicane in the Wall of Champions. Again, here on board at Verstappen, he gets quite close to the edge of the track he's on the white line there as he's coming into that final chicane and once again uses the orange curbs to open up the radius he's found grip on that orange curb and launches the car soft hands just make sure it lands comfortably before he picks up the power and drives up to the line the drivers are gonna have to read the conditions and really judge to make sure that on the right tires at the right time to get the right lap in well their drivers will also be helped by the fact they've got